It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. A video game developer is a target of a campaign to cancel him. So what is the stock crime that the media and people like Anita Sarkeesian are going after this game developer? Well, the main reason why they're going after him is because he's an anti-social justice warrior. And so for this video, we're going to explore the various articles and tweets that people are trying to go after this guy for because apparently being anti-SJW is the worst crime ever. Hogwarts legendary lead designer used to run anti-social justice YouTube channel. I find it so ironic that this whole entire thing started with like Kotaku because Kotaku was like one of the many, many game outlets during that time period for Gamergate that basically stated that gamers are practically dead. And so it's so funny that years later, they're now going after this developer just because he has a different opinion than they do. Tony Leavitt is the lead designer at Warner Brothers, currently working on a controversial Harry Potter game, Hogwarts Legacy. He also runs a reactionary YouTube channel focusing on attacking feminism and social justice for over a year. This information was first provided by Did You Know Gaming contributor Liam Robertson, who highlighted the channel Friday evening on Twitter. An accompanying screenshot shows a small portion of his channel with video titles such as The Injustice of Social Justice and Praise of Cultural Appropriation and Are Stark Crimes Becoming Real? The latter is a reference to George Orwell, the Topian sci-fi novel 1984. Right-wing commentators often use the book Authoritarian Big Brother Governments as a comparison point in their criticism, linking that fictional civilian state to the real-world equality movements. Among his other videos are lengthy defense of both John Lannister, the Pixar co-founder who left his position at Disney in 2017 after allegation of sexual misconduct, and Norman Bushnell, the Atari co-founder who at Taco's reporting found out how to foster a toxic work environment for women. In some of his video, he expressed support for Gamergate, a movement fostered harassment against women and other minorities in the video game industry, and criticized Anita Sarkeesian Tropes vs. Women series as an unfounded French position. He discussed his opinions on Gamergate in depth during a 2017 interview, saying, Gamergate, while painful at times, the whole thing proven to be a good thing. Since Otaku actually mentioned a tweet that initially started all of this, let's take a look at it, shall we? I know this is just shocking, but the lead designer of Hogwarts Legacy is a far-right YouTuber who used to make anti-feminist and pro-Gamergate videos. I swear to God, Every single time you delete the most remote, mild criticism of a person's position, whether it's like on the far left or just a regular left, they keep on saying that you're far right just because you disagree with them. Most people back when they started to criticize Anita Sarkeesian were not far right. Like many people, no matter the political spectrum, criticize her. Why did they criticize her? Well, the main reason why they criticized her was first of all, she misrepresented the game for like Hitman, where basically she stated that you had no choice but to beat up women inside of like some sort of stripper club, but that's not true. There was like other ways to, you know, do that kind of mission. She also lied about her campaign. She basically promised like a certain amount of episodes. She did not complete her own personal project. She also lied about being a gamer. She pretty much also tried to, you know, go after Sargon of Akkad. She basically tried to, you know, go after people. It's like, her own personal stick is the main reason why so many people criticize her to begin with. So it doesn't really matter if a person was left wing or right wing. Most people during that time period agreed that Anita Sarkeesian was pretty much, you know, a bad force for gaming. And to this very day, I still think that Anita Sarkeesian is in fact the worst for gaming. But this all continues on right here. I just want to make something clear here. I'm not trying to cancel anyone. I just wanted to let people know that this is because I feel it's something that people want to know before deciding whether to support this project. This is all public information and there for anyone to find. 
Oh, sure, sure. You're definitely not trying to cancel people just because they have a different opinion. It's not as if there's some sort of media collaboration to actually go after this person just because he held, like, you know, anti-feminist, anti-SJW views. The thing about projects is you can have whatever political opinion that you have, right? It doesn't matter if you're, like, a, you know, anti-SJW or not. Like, basically, if you can put aside your politics and actually do your job, the most important thing about it is, of course, trying to, you know, make something good. And so to me, the whole entire idea of whether he's like an anti-SJW because he made like these sort of comments before, it's irrelevant. Because to me, the most important thing is his skill set. Not his opinions about like the stuff that I also agree with, but just how good he is for his job. But it continues on with the other media outlets because they started to also make some sort of article headlines about, you know, this guy. Lead designer Hogwarts Legendary used to be an anti-social justice YouTuber. Lead designer Hogwarts Legacy previously headed an anti-social justice YouTube channel. Hogwarts Legacy lead designer has a history of anti-social justice content. Hogwarts Legacy lead designer criticized for reactionary YouTube videos. Far-right Harry Potter game designer Rage feminists, and social justice warriors on YouTube. Lead designer on a new Harry Potter game is Gamer Gator with a rancy YouTube channel. If this is not some sort of way to try to cancel this guy just because of his views on social justice, I honestly do not know what is. But it continues on because basically Anita Sarkeesian and the rest of them also want to cancel this guy too. I'm happy to say, even though I disclosed my hateful, misogynist, and regressive YouTube channel to Warner Brothers Games, it didn't appear to be an issue for them, and I get to continue to be a successful game designer on a major project with no consequences. As someone targeted by this channel, you should not buy this game, period. Well, considering that Brianna Wu was the same sort of person that fake harassment against herself, I honestly can't say that I trust a single word that comes out of her own mouth. So what can we learn from all of this, really? Well, you see, if you have a different opinion than I do, you ought to be canceled because you disagree with my views, you challenge my videos on, like, YouTube and stuff, and so therefore, you need to actually cancel your whole entire job. That's basically the mindset of the people at, at Kotaku, at Anita Sarkeesi, and the rest of them. Because basically, no matter what you do, you're always going to get canceled at the end. It does not matter if it's like the most mild criticism or whatever. You're still going to be, of course, targeted for cancel culture. Some people say cancel culture don't exist. This is literal cancel culture trying to be actually happening right now against someone just because they have wrong think. And so for all you guys who say that cancel culture does not exist, I'm sorry. There's plenty and plenty of examples of it actually existing, including this one. So what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.